Hi, my name is James. I'm a digital marketing executive. I was using Google Forms, but now I'm using SurveyMonkey. For more reviews like this, click below. Yeah, so we're using uh, surveys to get feedback on our marketing activities, to hear from our audience what they want when we're generating new content, uh, as well as doing a follow-up on how well people have received our offers, how much they're engaging with our content, and what they'd like to see more of. So yeah, SurveyMonkey is best for getting some really in-depth data out of our audiences when we're doing surveys. So it allows us to build uh, really in-deep and custom surveys uh, to find out what people think, to find out uh, how people are engaging with the content that we're looking to review. And through the way you can you know, set a whole bunch of different parameters on the questions, you can reorder things, you can have so many different options and flexibility in setting up the survey you get so much more better data out of it and it helps us to evaluate then our marketing activities going forward. So Google Forms is best for a really simple, really short form. Uh, we found that, you know, because there's not a huge amount of visual uh, ability to change it, uh, it's really good for just finding, you know, a couple of simple, quick questions to follow up with someone after they've engaged with our marketing activities. Uh, so yeah, for, for simple, short stuff, Google Forms is absolutely perfect. Getting started with Google Forms is so ridiculously simple because as so long as you're signed in to Google Workspaces, you've got access to it there. You very quickly start typing in the types of questions you want and you can build a form within you know, 30, 40 seconds if you really need to. Our SurveyMonkey takes a little bit longer to get started with, but the reason that is because it gives you so much more control over what you're doing. You've got choices over the layout and the visuals and the design as well as way more options of what kind of questions you're asking on your survey. But the way they allow you to choose and direct you through that process makes it really simple to set up your first form. So the most important things when looking for a piece of software like this to do forms and surveys is, first of all, how easy it's going to be to set up the forms. You want something that's not going to be a headache to use. It's going to allow you to build the forms you need quickly and simply. Secondly, you want to think about how it's going to be for the end users filling it out. So is it going to be straightforward for people that you're sending the surveys to for them to follow through the process and actually fill it out because if they get lost in it, it's useless. You don't get any data back from it. And finally, one of the most important things is how you actually get the data out of the surveys and the forms. So what are the analytic tools like? Uh, how can you see the data represented to help you make decisions based on the data you've collected? Uh, that's where Google Forms is pretty simple, but SurveyMonkey gives you so many more options to lay out your data to see how people have responded and to then use those insights moving forward.